Hey everybody, welcome to some uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, booting it up for the first time here. I'm pretty excited. I played Animal Crossing when it first came out on GameCube a lot. Got it for Christmas when I was a kid. I played City Folk and I played whatever the DS one was and they were all really good. And uh, now we're playing New Horizons. I think I'm like a game or two behind. So I'm excited to get back into this. Now, uh, if my face in the chat is overlaying over anything you care about, please let me know because I don't know where everything important in the game is going to be. And I will cl I will gladly move that so you can see things. Just let me know. I suspected we'd open with something like this rather than a regular menu, which is why I didn't, you know, jump in earlier. It feels so nice to hear that kind of dialogue again. Oh. And by the way, uh, you might notice my footage probably looks a lot nicer than a lot of other people's footage. I'm using an M Classic. It's uh, a little dongle for your... I guess you could use it on almost any console. I use it on my Switch. It upscales it, makes it look nicer. So the colors are going to be a little more vivid and the edges are going to be a little more rounded. So uh, that's just why my game might look a little different. Holy shit, that looks amazing. I know, right? I'm not sponsored, by the way. I bought mine. It's good. I just really hope the intro song to the first game is in this somewhere, because that song is nostalgic for me. Like, I, I hum it around the house just on a regular basis. You can't change this. This can be seen by others during local and online play, so pick an appropriate name. Oh, so I can't be fuck dick? God damn it. Uh, what is the button for shift? It's just that. Uh, can I fit my druid? I love that you can very lightly hear like an airport terminal voiceover in the background, you know? Oh, I gotta, I gotta do the. Sorry, the, I'm, I'm typing on hard mode. Cause I'm not using a keyboard. I'm using a really bad Nintendo Switch D-pad. <laughs> oh, you kidding me? So even with a dash, I'm just MDB then. I, okay, I can't caps lock. That's cool. There, that might be caps lock. That was needlessly complicated. And I'll just do my real birthday. Look forward to them every Saturday. Thank you. Ah, uh, yes, here you are. You booked your flight with only one name. Birthday confirmed? Oh, it's always been public information. I guess a lot of people are probably new to the show. Choose your style. Okay. That's an interesting way to word that. Uh, okay, well, I'm about as white as it gets. Hairstyle. This is very limited. I'm guessing I can go to a hairdresser to change this later. Uh, kind of like that. I kind of like that. That's a little like how my hair used to be before I got a widow's peak. <laughs> uh, I usually look pretty droopy eyed and sleepy, don't I? My eyes are kind of in between blue and green. Something like that. What's the most sad and sleep deprived looking eye? Because that's what I should have. Now, I do really like the terrifyingness of this and the terrifiedness of this. I kind of love how that looks. So I think I'm going to go with that. I feel like I have a more triangular nose. And I have a very thin mouth. I look like a weird cat person in this game. Oh, and that's like blush? Okay, well, I don't have any of that. 
All right, that'll do. <laughs> I look way more like what a geek than I look like myself because the hair. Whatever. We can't see your mouth. Yeah, I, I do have a mustache. So I have a very thin mouth. Funny that you mentioned that. I'm guessing what a character looks shockingly like mine. Because really your character is mostly skin tone and hair. And he's probably got the same hair, same hair color, so. Okay, well, I'm Northern Hemisphere. I'm Canadian. North America or elsewhere. That is hilarious. I wonder if in, like, European versions it'll say, like, Europe and elsewhere, stuff like that. That's just an interesting way of trying to simplify it. I guess they figure kids won't know if they're in Northern or Southern Hemisphere. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. So I heard a lot of people have been re-rolling their islands to get what they want. I'm hoping I get peaches, but I'm not willing to re-roll my island over and over, you know? Okay. Okay, so the the leaf is the is the store. I want that to be fairly central. I'm guessing I can put bridges across the water, I'd assume. Um I think I kind of like the first top left one actually. Yeah. Yeah. I like the top left one. Fourth looks nice, really? I kind of like this. I guess they're not too dissimilar, are they? This is just more sectioned off. Don't forget there's a new vaulting pool, too. See, I didn't know that's a thing. I'm a couple of games behind. Mm, the islands will feel a bit smaller for the first day since you can't jump over rivers immediately. Uh, okay. I'm going to go top left. I like this one. This one looks nice. I wish I knew what fruit was here, but it doesn't really matter. I'm sure I can get some fruit from you guys. I got tons of friends with this game. I'm probably streaming this on Sunday with uh, Bob Wolf of the Wolf Den, Dan, that cyber channel, and AJ, Fanatics 4. I, I felt the need to say all of their channel names as well because I just realized that uh, a lot of new people are probably going to find me on YouTube or Twitch through this, and they don't know me, and so they might not know them. Uh, if you could do one th uh, thing to... And what would it be if I could bring one thing? A sleeping bag, a lamp, some food, something to kill time. Some food probably means fruit that I could use to plant more trees to make more money. At least that's how it would work back in the day of if you had a fruit not of your island, it's worth significantly more money to sell it. So some food is sounding like the best way to get some money going. So I'm going to say some food. Do you know the hardest Pokemon challenge ever? Oh, I'm sure I could just come up with something literally impossible right now. Uh, Pokemon Generation 1, uh, only normal moves. There you go. It's literally unbeatable. This has no effect. What, what you pick there? Does it actually have no effect? This game come out, came out at such a perfect time. I know, right? Everyone has the plague. <laughs> so we were all going to quarantine anyway, because this game's coming out. And then a global pandemic happened. I had someone the other day get mad at me because I referred to it as a global pandemic. My country declared it a global pandemic. I think it's fair to call it that. So let's all just have fun. What gen are you talking about? First gen. Pokemon Red. Pokemon Red. Only normal moves. There you go. Unbeatable. Is this me getting invited to town or something and it's just showing what the game's all about? 
You got cherries as your native fruit. Mum got peaches. Oh, mum got lucky. Do I have mum on the Switch yet? I don't know. Sorry, my sister's in the chat there. I don't know if I have mum on the Switch yet. I uh, I don't remember if I, if I got her friend code. A Nook Inc. production. Oh, I didn't know that pandemic necessarily means global. Okay, I guess it is redundant. I don't have you? Oh, well. Oh. Uh, text me your friend code and I'll add you off stream. Because I don't want you putting your friend code on a YouTube video that's going to get seen by a billion people. That seems unwise. Fatima's behind the, uh, the camera right now, just hanging out, sweeping in the room. I guess that's a new thing with this room. With this new studio, there's so much room behind the desk. And Fatima can just come in and sweep up a little or grab something if she needs to. But she can't grab the switch right now. That's the only thing she can't grab. Or else it might cause some problems for the stream. Slime bear? Yeah, I know. He looked weird, right? Oh, God. I love how weird our guy looks. Oh, uh, hey, Danny's playing Pokemon Sword. Can I turn those notifications off, chat? I don't play Switch much. Is that a thing I can do? Can I spin, like in Pokemon? No? Oh, throwing it out. Worst game. Oh, wow. It feels like everything's so big. How do I pick this up? I want to... Maybe I don't have full features yet. I'm just going to... I should probably just talk to these people. I feel so zoomed in, you know? Oh yeah, Marshmallow Dragon in the chat there is Danny that you just saw pop up on stream. Is the mouse named Moose? Did I get that wrong? You can just go offline on Switch Friendless and then turn them off. There must be a way to just turn off notifications for that, right? There must be. There is on like older consoles. See, this is why I don't want to, like, add a million people on my friends list on Switch. I don't want notifications all just non-stop whenever I stream these. Moose is the mouse. That's wonderful. The president of Nook Incorporated. I like this, this lore that he has built a business empire since the first game. I, I wonder, if I were to go back and listen, has Tom Nook always had the same voice actor? I don't think he has, but I'm not sure. It's been a while. We don't see the notifications. They're behind your face cam. Oh, that's perfect. There we go. I forgot that was top left. Again, if the face cam ends up blocking anything you guys care about, let me know and I'll move it. System settings, notifications, friend notifications, disable them. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll do that off stream later. Okay, so we start with a tent. So I did hear that this is like an island one, right? I don't know if it's necessarily tropical. I just know it's an island. Okay. Uh, gimme. Yeah, we don't even get a house anymore. We get like a tent. Is this going to be a little bit... Uh Harvest Moon, where we start in a little bit more of a, you know, a wrecked land that we need to clear for ourselves and then make it into a good home, because I'm not opposed to that. That sounds kind of fun. Oh, I got oranges. Okay, I'm cool with oranges. I just feel so zoomed in. Is it... Okay, that zooms me out a... <laughs> barely. How do I pick up? So that's inventory. Hmm... I don't know. Maybe I have to plant the tent first. You can't save it. Oh, that's the save button. Now I know. This is one of the shoulder buttons. I don't know why. I, would, I, I don't know what I opened there. That must be a chat for if you're in multiplayer. Gotta. Okay, gotta plant a tent before I can do anything. Now, uh, 
So... Does where I plant the, ta the tent matter? Like, can I pick it back up later? I just gotta know, like, is this gonna be basically my house location once I plant the tent? Because if so, then I should be real picky with where I put it, right? Can anyone confirm that for me? You can move house later. Okay, I'm just gonna plant a tent then. Here is fine, whatever. Is this game 30 frames? It kind of feels like 30 frames. And if so, that's very strange. Because, uh... That'd just be very... Yeah, that looks fine. I like that you can preview it. It'd just be really strange if, uh... There we go. You can move it later, yeah. Sorry, uh, I lost my train of thought for a moment there. Okay. Locked to 30. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. It's strange if they lock it to 30 because it's not... Maybe this game is very intensive on the on the hardware, but the previous games weren't, were they? I remember, in fact, on the first one on GameCube, because it was an N64 game in Japan, when it came out in English on GameCube, the game was actually so small you could play without the disc. If you boot, if you put the disc in and you boot the game, you could take the disc out while you're still playing, and almost everything in the game would still work. It was that small. It get loaded into the RAM of the GameCube. It was that small. Sorry, I wish I could sub longer, but I got laid off from my job. You don't need to apologize for anything. I'm sorry that happened to you. I, I know the, the the whole disease outbreak has been really affecting people. Like, if anybody needs to cancel their, their subscriptions or their pledges on Patreon or anything like that, just do it and don't apologize. Like, you don't need to announce it to me or anything. I totally get it. Like, your money is your money. Take care of yourself. I'll be fine. I don't I don't need the subscriptions and the Patreon things to make it through the, the disease stuff. Don't worry about it. Take care of yourself. All right. Uh, I want to check out my tent. Ugh. Okay. Sorry. I totally didn't read what he was saying because I'm so uh, fixated on talking to the chat today. Okay. Am I actually picking the house locations for other people? Do I just need to find them? Local multiplayer is a series first, pretty sure. Uh, no, didn't they have the local multiplayer in the DS one? I seem to remember that they did, but I could be misremembering. It feels weird that this is at 30, doesn't it? it? Feels a little blurry when I run. Maybe it's because the upscaler I'm using. I don't know. You can tell them where to place it, but they already have an idea for themselves. Okay, I'll probably just go with what their ideas are. I'm not talking to these guys, am I? Are they actually going to start living here? No. Okay, it's just making me talk to Nook when I try and talk to the kids. Yeah, they had local multiplayer in New Leaf. Here we go. Here's one of them. I like the very subtle teddy bear-like plush texture to the person's um, skin, I guess it would be. I like that. It's very subtle, though. Yeah, New Leaf, New Leaf had multiplayer, like local multiplayer. I played that with my sister. Looks good to me. I'm not much of a city designer, I gotta say. I'm thinking of Wild World? Okay, I was thinking of Wild World then. God, it's even a windy day in game. They don't take your local weather into account, do they? Because I know that in the winter they're gonna make it snow. Probably. That's what they did in old ones. Um but are they gonna make it uh Hold on, when my map comes up, are they on that? No. Oh hey, AJ is playing. If everyone could just do me a favor, go look up AJ from Fanatics4 on Twitter. And everybody tweet at him. I don't care what you tweet at him, just tweet at him. 
Rained all day in my game and IRL. Huh. It was raining a little earlier for us. I, I think it was like intermittent showers this morning, but I woke up a little late. Man, I'm really noticing the frame rate. It's strange. I feel like I should be zoomed out more too, because I'm playing this on a really big monitor and I'm up close and they kind of expect you to be playing this on a TV across the room, you know? So it's slightly disorienting. What's your all-time favorite Pokemon? Drazzy. Where is this other person? Where's where's Moose? I know they're like a mouse, so they're small. Are they like hidden behind a tree somewhere? God, I'm getting like a weird strobing effect. I'm getting slightly motion sick. The game is too zoomed in. Are they by the dock? No. Unless I just had to go talk to Tom Nook. They're not across the water, are they? Can I even cross the water? I don't think I have a way of crossing the water, so if they are across the water, then I don't know if I can progress. I'm gonna just try talking to Nook again. Moose hasn't returned yet. Probably started looking for a spot. Would you mind lending him a helping hand? Yeah, I can't find him. <laughs> Everyone's stuck on this. Okay. Where is he? Where have I not looked? It's such a small island. Got to be on the left somewhere. Okay. I'm going to start down here. Can I like do this? There. Maybe that'll help me find- There! How did I miss you? You're out in a field. Oh god. Moose's face is horrible. What was- what was that cartoon? Sticking around? It looks like a face from sticking around. Any Canadians in the chat who know what the hell that is? Because, uh, yeah, probably only Canadians know sticking around. That feels like it was low budget enough to be a Canadian cartoon. You remember that? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a face from sticking around. I'm trying to remember if my uncle wrote an episode of sticking around. He did a lot. Of, he wrote a lot of episodes of, uh, he wrote like a few episodes for a lot of those old shows. He might have. Yeah. Guinevere might remember. Oh, now it looks like evening. That or like a heat wave has hit. That or we're in the desert now. Everything's real orange now. Looks like they have drawn on eyebrows. Yeah, especially bad drawn on eyebrows. Okay, gather firewood. I like how we're basically like super unprepared settlers settling new land, <laughs> you know? Like we are the least prepared pioneers in the world. You think 10 tree branches is enough? Okay. Something makes me feel like Tom Nook has never made a fire. Alright, did you say it was the Y button? Yes. I wish I could hold it and just run across things and like auto pick them up. That'd be nice. Oh, well, I can finally pick up oranges now though, right? Yeah. Uh, so I got three. Okay. Can I just like shake any old tree? Yes, I can. Wasn't there a bunch on the ground somewhere? Here we go. You got pears on your island. I like how the fruit look in these games. Watch out for bees. Oh, right. That's true. I used to get got by bees a lot. I'm sorry, was I just picking up weeds? Is that a thing I can do? That is a thing I can do. Clumps of weeds. 
They kind of look nice, though. I don't know. I'll, I should probably get rid of them at some point. I'm just trying to get a bunch of stuff right now. How many sticks was I at? Ten. Perfect. Is he going to need fire? Or, um, stones? He's going to need fire for the fire pit. Is he going to need stones for the fire pit? Uh, I think I already have six. Oh, well, there we go. You can pick up weeds to use them in crafting for like- Oh, I didn't know crafting was the thing now. Uh, you can also sell them to the twins for bonus spells. A new type of, uh, spendable currency. Okay. Good to know. I will collect the weeds then. Oh, that's so weird having a day-night cycle that's detached from real life in an Animal Crossing game. Is he going to cook the oranges? Yeah, I've never tried cooking an orange. I don't think that... I don't think it'd be that good. I don't know. Then again, I'm like... The only person who doesn't know how to cook in my family very well, so... I mean, I can, I can cook a few things decently, but I, I do feel like I'm the worst cook in the family. I'm passable. I can make a few very healthy things that I've learned. Cooked orange peels are nice. Huh, didn't know that was a thing. How did those twigs make that? I know, right? There's like cut logs there of some small tree. Suggest a name. You can't change it. Oh, I haven't really put it put any thought into what I'm gonna name this. Um. Uh, <laughs> any uh, any suggestions from the chat on what I should name the island? I'm thinking uh, probably some kind of old show meme. <laughs> Nux cranny. That is the original name of the first shop. Yes. Only have 10 characters to work with? That's hard. Husband and I chose two worlds from Tales of Symphonia. Oh, that's cool. Uh, <laughs> Nancy Drew. What a weird name for the island. Gilligan's Island. None of those would fit. Because we only have 10 characters, so there's very little to pick from. Isle of the Beard? Why? High bar. Oh, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Mm. Man bar aisle. Does that fit? God damn. If I get rid of the space. Bad font, by the way. When I, capital I and lowercase l are identical. Why? Oh, you don't need to add aisle. Okay, just man bar. Yeah, yeah, that's a classic show way to do it. Uh, are you okay with man bar? Yes. <laughs> Some of those were over 10 characters. Some of these people cheated. <laughs> yes, mine is the most sensible. Uh, 
Their hands aren't touching. They're clapping with their minds. One person was clapping while holding a flag. They were just hitting their chest. I'm getting promoted fast. Uh, 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 oh, all these hurt. I'm gonna go with Howdy. <laughs> Where did we get these? <laughs> I like that they have orange slices in them because orange is our local food. That's pretty great. So dinner is a is just some orange juice. You know, if you just ate oranges, you'd been more full. Alright. I'm guessing the day this tutorial day probably ends when I go to sleep. Actually, no, this is a Nintendo game. The tutorial probably goes on for eight years. I should probably, uh, gather a few more oranges. If the day is about to change, then I figure there's a chance the oranges are going to regrow. When you go to sleep is when the Fire Nation uh, attacks. It kind of does feel like if this were a different video game, once I go to sleep is when everything would get attacked and the plot starts, you know? Oh, I love Animal Crossing. Is this literally the most casual game that I've ever Let's Played or... Uh, Let's Played or streamed in my 10 years of Let's Playing and streaming? Like, every day? Is this the most casual one I've ever done? Because it might be. It's just a good feeling game. It's part of the trifecta of games that you can't explain and make sound interesting. One of my... One of my oranges evaporated because of the weeds. That's bullshit. Uh, it's Harvest Moon, Animal Crossing, and The Sims. The trifecta of games that you can't explain and make sound interesting, but they're actually very compelling to play. Used to be unhandy. Oh, okay. Why do you change it? Everybody knows you as unhandy. Okay, that might be every orange. Are the Animal Crossing games good? Very good, yes. I like them. They are my cup of tea. Do I have mail? I shouldn't, but okay. Okay, I think I've... Oh, hold on. Oh, I had to go back anyway. Okay, I just wanted to grab that because I saw it. You have an unlimited inventory? I'd imagine not. I know you didn't in the old ones. But I'm sure a lot has changed. Use left control stick to crawl into bed. That's such a weird way to put that. Yay. I just want to get the freedom to start doing stuff, you know? Want to get some furniture? Want to get a house? The radio's on. Yeah, turn it off. And is this going to be a sleeping bag? A lamp. I uh, can't crawl into bed if I don't have a bed. Oh, 
Okay. So what am I capable of doing right now? You have the cot. The leaf is your bed. He gave you a bed. Oh, right. I forgot that uh, furniture is displayed as leaves in this game. It's legitimately been like five years since I've played an Animal Crossing game. But I left that on. I... After all these years and they still haven't just made it so you can drop things from like a top-down perspective. Is this in the way? Oh my god. <laughs> no? Holy shit, that was needlessly complicated. There we go. I don't even have a blanket. We didn't prepare very well for this expedition, did we? Now KK Slider will invade your dreams. What? Why would you spoil that? That could have been exciting. I like KK Slider. <laughs> Even he is talking about it like we're exploring a new frontier. All right, advertising the multiplayer. That's cool. Making sure the player is aware. That's a big tent for just one person. I don't know. <laughs> Not when the tent is supposed to be your home. It's not very big. If you're camping, sure, it's pretty big for one person. Not if this is supposed to be your house, though. We're not camping. This is home. As depressing. I love our face. We should look so much more disheveled than this. <laughs> it's a phone in a phone case in case you drop it. That's funny. The hair is static. Yeah, it is moving just a little. It's a little hard to see. Probably with different hairstyles, it'd be more noticeable. I don't like that the phone we were given is Nook's proprietary software. There's something I don't like about that. He's too controlling. Uh... I have one, I just hate it. Mm. Yep, yep. <laughs> what are bells? I don't know what currency is. <laughs> Of course. I will fix this through indentured servitude. Mm. 
So we've been whisked away to a unsettled island where Tom Nook makes us all use his property and pay for it, and we have to work off the uh, the debt. This is shockingly similar to the history of the Isle of Haiti. <laughs> that's not a good thing. Uh, that's not a good thing. <laughs> Okay, so what a geek in the chat there is saying this is like a, a achievement system, which is cool because I, I like achievement hunting games that I'm really into. If you guys look at my, um, if you guys look at my, uh, Steam page, which is just public, and you look at my achievements, you can definitely tell what games I like. Because if I'm really, if I really like a game, I try and get every achievement. I'm not very good at it, but I'll usually get like 70% on a game. You know, like Hearts of Iron 4. I got most of them. They just added a bunch of new achievements, though, so I gotta catch up. There was a time when I had almost every achievement in Payday 2, and now I think I have, like, 30% because they've added, like, 400 of them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nintendo, thank you for downloading the update. I didn't, I mean, I didn't have a choice, but okay. Okay. Throw away. Okay. It's a gun <laughs> to keep myself safe. It's a rifle because this is bear country. <laughs> what I get? A Nintendo Switch? I have one of those already. I don't need another one. I believe you did quite a few videos on achievement hunting in Hearts of Iron 4. No. I've done no videos on achievement hunting in Hearts of Iron 4. I did tutorials on the game, though. Simple DIY workbench. Okay, so it's like a crafting bench, I guess. Okay. My Nintendo Switch that plugs into nothing because we don't have electricity. Oh, and I learned this is a recipe. I wonder how I can memorize it. I, I don't know. I thought the learn button would do that. Okay. All right. I like that. Uh, you remember I did a playthrough where I got an achievement. Oh, yeah, I was kind of trying to get one achievement. It wasn't really an achievement guide. It was just a playthrough. You can talk to Nook. Okay. I'm guessing he's in this tent. Is he going to try and sell us stuff already? Seen the game for the first time. I only know it's popular, but nothing else about it. What's the appeal? I feel like if you watch for a while, you'll kind of get the appeal. It's just a very fun, relaxing game. If you've played and enjoyed Harvest Moon slash Stardew Valley or Sims, you'll just kind of get it. It's one of those games that doesn't sound exciting when people explain it, but when you play it, it just feels real good to play. It's a you feel like it's really absorbing your time, but not in a useless time sink kind of way. Why is there a mini nook? That's his kids. Timmy and Tommy? I think that's what their names were. They helped run his store in some of the earlier games. Where is he sleep? Probably a yacht. He's rich. Everybody knows it. So how long has crafting been in these games? So do I use it well in here, or do I have to go use this desk? <laughs> yes, I've discovered it. <laughs> you know, an inch away from where I was standing. Sure. 
And he doesn't need to tell me what DIY means. I already know it's a great old NXT tag team. His nephews, that's right. After the tutorial, you can access those DIY cards in the inventory just uh, to learn. Okay, so I don't need to come back here every time. That's nice. The chat bubbles seem quite slow. Can they be sped up? Probably. I'll check the settings because I haven't gotten a settings menu yet. It's one of those games where it just kind of throws you right in. Five tree branches. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if a work table would work with just that. But okay. I don't know. Like, I don't know how you make drawers and like a, a, a clamp and stuff with that. Speed up by holding B. Good to know. If I hit, uh, is there no button to let just go into like a general pause menu? Oh, here we go. This probably is the equivalent. No. No, it is not. Well, I can at least check achievements, right? You've enrolled in the Nook mileage program. Oh, I'm going to get obsessed with this, aren't I? So is this going to be this game's equivalent of the museum? Because I really like filling the museum with all the fish and the bugs and the fossils and all that stuff. I always thought that was really fun. Having your daily coffee with the pigeon bartender who is, uh, you know, slowly warms up to you with time. That was a lot of fun. You do come back here from time to time. That DIY workbench is the only way to craft things, including making uh, furniture versions of the table to be able to craft anywhere. Okay. Weird. Okay. Okay, so I trade them for perks. There's the residence center, which I think was on the dock. Mm, okay. So I start with some. I guess it's just for doing a little bit of the tutorial. That's kind of like a free achievement, you know? The museum will be unlocked after a bit of time to- NICE! Okay, Nook will start talking to me about what to do next. Got it. Learn how to fish is an essential skill. Encourages all islands that- oh, All residents of the islands uh, in Master Fishing 0 to 10. I'm guessing that's catch 10 fish. One of the goals, togetherness. Okay, so make a friend. Try and talk to your neighbors every day. Okay. Catch 10 bugs. Flower power. Planting flowers. Okay, I can do that. Selling other island specialty fruits might get you a better price. Okay, so sell fruit. Catch, uh, getting sell shellfish. They're along the coast. So this is kind of giving me directions to go for a lot of typical things you would do to make money. You know, I remember these back in the day. The early days of making money in the game would be a whole lot of... Uh, you know, going along the coast, picking up shellfish to sell, catching bugs. I need to get some tools for that, though, to catch bugs and fish and stuff. I need a fishing rod. I need, um, as I need a fishing rod, I need a bug catching net. There's probably other tools I'll need. A shovel for getting fossils. Here we go. Yay! Outdoor hat. Nice. Already got something. Yeah, sure. Okay. Help me make tools out of things found around the island. Okay. Yeah, so the worst uh, tools, I'm sure. You can make a rod and a net on the first day, but shuffling and hopping rivers will wait until the museum. Okay. Why feels like a little bit of a weird button for that, but okay. There's a lot I can do on this side of the island, though. I can still collect branches. I can still get rid of all the weeds to pretty up the town. I'm sure there's an achievement for, for prettying up uh, the town by getting all the weeds, right? It wouldn't surprise me at all if there's a better tool for this later. If I could use uh, some kind of lawnmower. Maybe you just use uh, 
a farming scythe. It's your fault that I bumped my Switch in Pokemon Sword. I've not played any generation since Gen 1. Shame on you. I hope I hope you're having fun. I like Sword and Shield. They're pretty fun. Oh, hey. Let's talk to him. I hope the fishing is well. You clear... My controller is vibrating a little. Man, the vibration on the Switch is so cool. Um, he's got no hook or line, so I don't think he's going to catch anything. Okay, that was for talking to neighbors. Okay. Yay! All right, I like that. So now it's uh, talk to every neighbor every day for 10 days in a row, I guess. Ooh, so some of this is just shit to get you addicted. <laughs> like, totally. I'm trying to get some sticks early, because you know we're going to need that for a bunch of tools, right? Probably. Here's one. I'm just worried about beehives. I don't want to shake the trees too much. Very interested in the game and the uh, anime soundtracks. So far, I'm not feeling this Animal Crossing soundtrack. So far, this one's pretty mellow, and that's okay. But the Animal Crossing on GameCube soundtrack was very, very good. Part of it is nostalgia, for sure, but it's good, you know? I like how you're just watching me do busy work. There's like when that time I streamed uh, House Flipper. Is House Flipper more casual than this or less casual? They're both just relaxing times. Like, that's what I want to do these streams for, is just to have a relaxing time hanging out and talking with you guys. What's everyone's day been like? That's what I want these streams to be about. Relaxing with everybody. And just... Doing some busy work, playing some games, you know? You guys can all play games on the side and just have a mellow time, relax, chat. And I'm sure the YouTube audience will consider it the same way too. Maybe I'll just do like big mega uploads of this every once in a while. And they can just use it as nice background noise. What does everyone think of the game so far? Oh, thanks for the resub, Mira. I appreciate that. You gotta come back to, uh, to Haven and Hearth sometime with us if you have time. The village is going really well. We just got a village claim and everything in, a in the new Haven and Hearth world that just started. I'm gonna be doing videos on that again sometime. We even just struck metal early. We don't even have a mine hole yet. We struck some metal. We got very fortunate that there was a nearby cave that we managed to get a little bit out of. Oh, that was, didn't notice these before. You like it so far? Playing some CK2, love me some Crusader Kings 2. I love the new wonder system. I guess it's not new, it's like a year old now, but. The Wonder System in CK2, Crusader Kings 2, for anyone who doesn't know the game, is very wonderful. What a cool thing to put out on a free patch, you know? Don't play H&H &H at all anymore? Don't think you'll be playing it since uh, Animal Crossing's been released? Uh, yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame anyone who's going to get hooked on this, because I got hooked on all the old Animal Crossing games that I played. So I'll probably get hooked on this one, too. I just hope I can find time. Well, I mean, 151 of you are watching right now, so I guess you guys are enjoying this too. That's more than my average. I mean, I guess the average is higher if I play a Pokemon game, but I don't I don't stream those very often. Just having fun streaming a casual day, a casual game on a nice day. Well, it's kind of cloudy now. It's really sunny here. Oh, you see that X up there? You can dig there, find like a fossil or something. Or, oh, what are those, what were those things called? Gyro somethings? They're like the little dancing totem guys who make music. Those are one of my favorite things in Animal Crossing. What are those guys called again? Gyro something. I gotta get some of those. Gyroids, thank you. That's the name. Thanks for the tip videos on CK2, they helped. I'm, I'm happy to help. Uh, my tips video is still mostly up to date, but not a hundred percent, because it is a little old. They've, they've thankfully made it easier to understand the power of tribal countries and how many people they can realistically raise. So you don't need to hunt through it as bad as you used to. They appear after rainy days. Gotcha. So that's new. You used to just dig them up on any old day. They used to creep you out as a kid. I used to just think they're fascinating. Your day's been great now that you're watching me play 
uh, a relaxing game. That's awesome. I'm, I'm happy that I've improved your day. How's everyone doing on quarantine? Um, I guess that's a weird thing to talk about, but for anyone watching this sometime in the future, um, there, there's a big, there's a big virus outbreak going on right now, kind of worldwide. Some countries are hit worse than others, but I'm in Canada, which is a country that, uh, got it pretty fast. So, um, my, my province of Ontario is under a state of emergency as of a few days ago, so we're on lockdown. I'm a menu compromised, I think it's called. Um, I have a very bad immune system due to some medical conditions. And so I'm in a bit of a high risk category, so I'm just staying home and keeping it safe, you know? Don't worry about me. I'm only 27. I'm not that old. I'll, if I get it, and I probably will, I'll also probably be okay. I'm just trying to make sure that no one older than me gets it, you know? I don't want to... If I end up having it right now, because it stays incubated for two weeks, then I want to make sure I don't give it to anyone else. Especially anyone who can't handle it as well as me. So, I'm in an at-risk category, but there's much bigger at-risk categories than me. And I, you know, recently I've been eating really, really healthy. I have been for a couple months now. I've been eating healthier and healthier, taking better care of my body, so... Working out more. So I think I'll be okay. Probably. I'm very lucky that I work from home. Your default stay home with your husband right now? Oh, hey! Look at that, there's a present! Oh, uh, I don't have, like, a net to catch it or anything. I can't get that right now, can I? Can it maybe get stuck in a tree or something and I can grab it? Does anyone know? Should I be, like, rushing to Nook's place right now to learn how to make a net? You need a slingshot. Okay. Right, that- I forgot a slingshot was even a thing. Alright, I'm gonna go to Nook's place and see if I can learn how to get that real quick. It's gonna float away. Damn. All right, we'll talk to Nook. Is he having a pop? Oh. Uh, says is the result? Oh, on the tips thing, on my, yeah, Tippy stream, the the website I use instead of Streamlabs for on-screen notifications because uh, I used to use it back in the day when a I couldn't afford. Streamlabs and B, I was on a website that didn't really support Streamlabs back then. Um, and recently I've been having a lot of issues with them. It's not resolved yet, but it looks like it's getting resolved. Finally, I'm talking to a support person who gives a shit and isn't trying to steal thousands of dollars that people donate. Uh, but I am switching service the moment I get my money. So just don't donate anything right now. Uh, and that's fine because there's a quarantine going on. You should save your money for yourself. I'll be okay. Don't worry about me. I, I work online. I get I get paid online and everything. I'll be fine. So you shouldn't be donating to me anyway. Keep your money. Give it to your parents. Alright. Let's check this out. Craftable. Flimsy fishing rod. I do like fishing in this game. Or these games. So it's just a fishing rod right now? Okay. You can bop up balloons with shovels if you end up on a ledge above it. Can't do that right now, but it's good to know for the future. Thanks for letting me know that. You don't watch anime? You only work on his music? Oh, do you like make music for anime? That's cool. You work in a factory that is not shut down yet, despite nothing, uh, not being anything critical, crucial to society. Well, I guess it depends on how high danger of a zone you're in. I'm in a decently dangerous zone for for the the the, the outbreak, just because uh, I know people are confirmed having it in Mississauga. I'm in Oakville, which is uh, right next to it. I'm I'm sure people in Oakville probably have it, but if not, it will inevitably spread here very quickly. It's you know <laughs> like a five minute drive or something. I think Netherlands might have more cases than Canada right now, but I'm not entirely sure because Canada, uh, we have very close ties to China, and so it spread to us very quickly. And I'm in a densely high population area for Canada. I'm in the greater Toronto area, which is kind of Toronto and the nearby cities. The most populated part of Canada. Um, 
Netherlands is a fairly high density country. Mostly because it's small and has a decently large population, though. But there's rural parts of uh, Netherlands, of course. You know, that's the stereotype of Netherlands is the um, the windmills and the tulips and everything. In fact, Canada and the Netherlands have very close relation. Because of uh, our history from World War One, Flanders Fields and whatnot. Man, we have a lot of weeds. King's is M right now. I guess I can only equip it outside, maybe. Oh, I can put on my hat. How does that look? It's terrible, but I kind of like it. Mm, what should I do? Yeah. So there isn't an official store yet on this island, is there? I have nowhere to. Do I have nowhere to sell things for bells? Because I wouldn't mind cleaning out the inventory by selling some seed, some sand dollars. Yeah, the hat's color scheme is not flattering, is it? Okay, so he wants fish and, and insects right now. And that's probably going to be the basis of the museum. Okay, well, I want a net. Okay, the twin to my left will let me sell. Thank you. And is there anything else I can make right now? DIY workbench and a campfire. I don't think I need either of those right now. I live next door. Oh, do you do you live in in Mississauga perhaps? I know I've got a few fans who actually live in Oakville, which I think is pretty cool. <laughs> it's 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 pretty cool to me that um, I actually people who watch the show who are local because I've never been recognized in public. Um, although I've been around doing YouTube for a video a day for it just hit nine years, like just I think, I think it hit nine years today, because I think it was the twentieth of March two thousand eleven that I started doing a video a day minimum, often two videos a day, but recently mostly just one. Uh, but it's only quite recent that I started getting more popular, you know. Uh, six months ago, I had 61,000 subscribers on YouTube. Today, I just passed uh, 281,000. So it's been a big, a big six months for me. So I've never been recognized in public before, and it still hasn't happened yet. But I don't go out much. I, you know, legitimately 70 to 85 hour work weeks for me. I don't take days off. I'm not complaining, though. I like my job. You mean you live next door to Italy? Ah, that's gotta be rough. Italy looks like it's going through a hard time. I feel bad. I have a lot of Italian viewers now. I hope they're okay. Campfire cookware sounds nice. Smoker, that also sounds nice. I can buy these, but I, I made those, so. I could buy a slingshot and a watering can. I could buy tulip bags so I could start on the, the flower planting. That's not a bad idea. Medicine, that, that's probably for if I get stung by a bee. Saplings, cool. DIY for beginners, slingshot recipe. Okay, slingshot recipe and making my own is probably cheaper. I don't know why I'd ever buy oranges. Okay, so we know what the selection is now. Okay, they'll buy weeds off us. But wasn't it what a geek in the chat was saying earlier that I should hang on to the weeds for crafting? I want to sell. I bet you I can sell the sand dollars just fine. See ya, Danica. We gotta watch more wrestling soon. Oh, I like that I can select multiple things to sell. And there's no way I need this many oranges. I'll keep just a few for now. Clean out the inventory a little. Dude doesn't even have a register. Or a calculator. Don't know if links here work. Here's me doing a song for. Sorry, I don't know what any of that is, but that's cool. If anyone wants to go click that link and uh, and listen to your stuff, I can't click it right now, obviously. But you know, I hope people like your stuff. Oh, controller's vibrating. Is this for selling enough stuff? Maybe. Ah, yeah, selling fruit. 
So the next one is when I sell another 80 fruit. Yes, okay. Crafting recipes aren't anything too spectacular. Uh, they're really just uh, cosmetic furniture. Weeds as a crafting ingredient are not used for tools, I don't think. Okay. Man, the view count just keeps going up. I didn't think so many of you would want to watch me play this. I figured these would just be a really low view uh, casual streams, you know? I didn't think so many people wanted to watch me uh, play Animal Crossing. I'm happy, though. I hope you guys are all playing games on the side and just having a fun time. It feels so much nicer to stream with the spotlights on me turned down lower and streaming earlier in the day where the sun is still out. It's nice. Furniture recipes in the first sentence, meant weeds. Oh, they're just useful for furniture recipes, not tools. Okay, I probably will sell them then. Waiting for the FedEx guy to buy, bring you your coffee? Oh, I did digital. I always do digital. It's just more convenient for me. Even though my new home has slower internet, it's still so much more convenient than me for me than having cartridges. Can't afford the game yet, so you're living vicariously through me. Most new people associate me with Nintendo and Pokemon? I guess so. Which is weird to me because Pokemon is less than 1% of the videos I've uploaded on YouTube. I still just consider myself like a small Let's Player and streamer. Just know some live, slow to notification. Um, if you're like me and you always have Steam open on your computer, then join the Steam group. That's a better way of getting notified. I also have the... You can also join the Discord server, and that has uh, a role you can opt into will, where you'll get pinged when I stream. And that's just opt-in, so it doesn't, like, bug you, you know? It's only if you want it. And you can get rid of the role on yourself at any time as well, so that you only have the notification as long as you want it. Is that every weed? Maybe. I'm, just, I'm doing this viewing so I can see behind the trees a little better. You know? Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, I don't I don't have any of those like exclamation point commands. Just scroll down. It's this in the description. It's a clickable link. It's in the description of every video I do and my Twitch channel. I try and make all my links very, very accessible. But people ask for them all the time. It's just like people, I guess people aren't used to having all those links available in video descriptions, so they just don't read the description. But like, my video descriptions are just loaded with really useful links. Like my pinned tweet on Twitter, for instance, has links to a bunch of my stuff, including the Discord. I'm actually a Discord partner, so I have a vanity link. It's nice. In fact, um, isn't it right here? I don't know if the camera's mirrored right now or not, but this is a Discord partner hoodie. When they asked me if I want to be a partner, and I, of course I accepted, uh, they sent me a free Discord partner hoodie. It's actually really comfortable. It's high quality. Kind of like Koei's take on Monster Hunter? Huh. Here we go. I think this might be the last batch on this side of the island. Land of, random key to Pathfinder Kingmaker. I think I have that game, but I haven't played it yet. What is it like? I think the devs sent it to me forever ago, but I was just too busy. That happens an unfortunately large amount of times. Or the devs ask if, if I want to check out a game of theirs, and I say yes, but like fair warning, I'm, I'm really busy. I might not be able to get around to it, and they just send it anyway. One hundred thousand chat points. I don't know how. You, I don't know like what the math is on that, on how you get that. You know. Guy follow on Twitch who said, one hundred thousand chat point reward. Choose a game for him to play. Redeemed. 
I re uh, redeemed them the other day and going to gift them a Nancy Drew game to play. That's awesome. Accidentally sent you a friend request on Twitch. Feel free to ignore. Oh, people, I have like a million friend requests on Twitch. I just don't check them because I, I try to actually keep it to just friends because I don't want to get bombarded with notifications. Okay, there was a hidden weed back there, but I think I finally got all the weeds on this side of the river. You know, just beautifying the place. I don't know why no other villager is doing this. Not pulling their weight. I feel like I should have gotten an achievement for that, but maybe there's just one for getting every weed off the island. Yeah, I don't know why Twitch does friend requests, to be honest. It's not a very robust system. I think I've talked to one person ever on it. I missed one by the plaza? Okay, I'll go look for that. You get an achievement for selling a bunch of weeds. Okay. Here's all this weed. It's legal now in Canada. You can actually buy it from the government regulated website. Because that's how Canada is. We, we tell you, oh, we're legalizing this. And in reality, it's legalized, but you can only sell it with permission and it has to be through a crown corporation. AKA, the government will legalize it if they're making a bunch of money off of it. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, Nook Miles. I need 5,000, right? Is that to get a house, probably? Or at least to pay off the current debt. Okay, so that was two achievements worth. I'm gonna have to sell a lot of weeds in the long run. So you said there was uh, one by the plaza. This area is a plaza. Oh, right there. There we go. How'd I miss that? That was so obvious. Okay, well, I should get fishing and stuff now, right? I should catch bugs and go fishing. Is there a faster way to switch tools, by the way? How far are you pushing the don't go uh, out as... Oh, how far are they pushing don't go out as much as possible in your region? Um, my province is on lockdown. My province uh, declared a state of emergency a couple months ago, or a, a couple days ago. Use the D-pad? Hey, thank you. Okay, there's a fish. Is it like, is this still the old system? Because I haven't, again, I'm a few games out of date. Yep, same old system. I like it. It's fun fishing. I, I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this in every video game ever, but I genuinely believe every video game can be improved by having a fishing mini game in it. Butterfly. I gotta get that butterfly. Yeah! Another weed behind the tree, slightly behind you and to the left. Oh, I see it! Oh, that one was hidden! Who was that? Dark Den, dude? Good eye. There's a fish. I like how I'm like quiet. I, that was a bad. Sp oh, it was like homing in on. That that's a terrible throw. That's a bit better. Danica's playing it too. You can buy a tool ring if you want. Cool. Bobber drifts with the river. Yes, just like in the old games. Goes with the current of the water. Mm, there's one. And this is a C one, so it'll be different. Okay, Duck Dynasty's fishing minigame kind of sucked, but... Was it a minigame in that? I guess it still was, yeah. In a way, that game is just a bunch of... Mini games badly done. <laughs> Man, these washed up fast. Oh, what's that? Like a little bit of water just came into the ground there. I should. I bet you if I had a shovel, I could dig there. It's just occasionally doing that. It's probably some kind of bug. Like a. Like a insect not like a glitch those are clams gotcha get over here get over here yeah 
I think I already have this kind. Oh, that's a white one. Fuck. Fuck. Don't you go across that river. Fuck. Ah. You monster. If I had caught the the butterfly with that, that'd have been incredible. There we go. I think there's one more behind the tree left of the plaza. Okay. Left of the plaza, there's one to the northeast. Do you mean northwest? Because you said left of the plaza. You should get an axe. I should. Did you mean to the right of it? Because you said left and you said east. And I'm very confused because those are not the same direction. Yeah, I'll just fish a little. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's a big one. Uh, mm. I meant to the right of the plaza for the first one. Yeah, I don't see it. Oh, there's a big fish. Come on, notice it. Notice it. It's not gonna notice it. Ah, I forgot. They don't always, it doesn't always sink under when they bite it. All right, I gotta get used to that. All right, I'm gonna go back to Nook. Cut a bunch of stuff. How you liking it so far? I only played New Leaf, couldn't get into it. I like it so far. I found a creature. I like how we call it a creature. Island can support. It's a fish. What do you? Th are you surprised there's fish here? Yes, I'd be okay with that. I want the museum. Don't go too ham on catching the bugs and fish. By the way, when they say flimsy, they mean it. Okay, gotcha. Ooh. Critter Petey. Okay, so I have a mobile way of checking who I do and do not have. Good. There's one by where you caught the second butterfly in the northeast. Okay. I will try to figure that out, but I don't remember where I was there. One of the trees northeast next to the river. Let me just catch this while I see it. You gonna buy the slingshot recipe? Yeah, I just want to get this before I forget. Come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. 
Do you play any instruments? Nope. Do you have a favorite game soundtrack? Uh, nope. Depends on the game. You meant Northwest. Oh. The camera is always facing north, so why don't you just use left and right? Right there. That must be the one. And I'll just double check the rest of these areas just in case. Oh. Oh, there's one over here. That might be all of it. Fuck. Fuck. The puns for catching stuff are hilarious. Yeah, I do like that there's a pun for, well, there's not a pun for everything. There's at least a joke for everything. That's how it was in the old games, though. It's just a great little detail. Uh, okay, I don't need all these butterflies. I probably just need the one. Don't weeds regrow? Probably. I'd imagine. Still, there's, uh, I get rewards for selling them. Both the money, and then also there's the, the miles I get. Mm, Alright, I want to buy. I want miscellaneous. I want... So what is DIY for beginners exactly? That's not the one I've already used, so... Slingshot recipe. I guess look at this, it's cheap. No way they'd sell it if you automatically get it for free before this, so... You get some new recipes out of it. Okay. Good to have for achievement progress. Got it. There we go. No reason not to. Ooh, good neck crack. Oh, okay, so that's for learning recipes. Ooh, first time things here. Didn't know I still had more of these. Okay, that's everything. Like the phone chase? Yeah, I like that too. Uh, okay. I should make a slingshot. Frying pan. Hmm. I want tools. I need hardwood. Don't have that. Need an axe for that, I would assume. Houseware. Miscellaneous. Other. <laughs> Craftable. Favorites. Okay. Yeah, that's why I was doing what a geek. Alright, let's keep giving him creatures for the museum. I wish you could just give him a bunch at once. Oh, 
Oh, sweet. What's up? I'm just streaming Animal Crossing. Having a fun time. We're just very relaxed stream. I require wood. Along with a recipe for an axe. Nice. You find it annoying you have to unlock some achievements. Mm, I don't find that annoying personally. More stuff available. And flimsy axe. I need branches. Come on. Come on. There we go. I like that I can sprint. Did you end up moving to North Carolina? I haven't had a chance to yet. No, uh, immigration is very slow. Plus, we had to move very abruptly. So we got another place in Canada. You do streams, you're watching your challenges. Awesome. Watching the Stellaris playthrough. I hope you like it. I like the Stellaris playthrough. We're about to do a new one, actually. Uh, because we basically just beat the last one. Uh, so we're just gonna do a new one. Higher difficulty. Diplomatic play style. It'll be fun. I wish I knew if something was an orange tree before I'd cut it down. Because I don't want to cut down an orange tree. But... Alright. Well, we need some wood. Oh. Wood just comes out of it. How does that work? All right, I guess that one's out of wood. Why does free dust always just say re? I don't get it. You can hit a tree three times, okay. Okay, so Steel Axe will cut them all the way down. Okay, that's good to know. So this is just to cut a little bit of wood. That's actually very useful. It makes no sense, but it's really useful. You wanna go? No, I just I'm I'm literally just asking why you always just say re. I literally do not know what you mean. You just randomly say it sometimes and no one ever responds to it. I don't I don't get it. I don't know, I just assume it's some weird in joke I don't get. All right, he still just wants that. Oh, I got more to give him. You can also hit the rocks? Okay. Man, I just keep still getting good. I, I just keep getting stuff from this. It's like cutting the bark off tree. Bark isn't hardwood, though. Why the nickname as in Madrai Bread? Uh, it's not really that interesting. It's just a nonsense word that caught on in high school. I I did, in one of the interviews I did, 
I mean, I've answered it like a billion times and I don't want to answer it over and over just because people are probably sick of hearing it and it's boring. Uh, but there's like an interview I did that I usually just link because it's... It, it, I explained it in the most detail there. If you just Google my dry bread interviews, you'll probably just find it. It's on some guy's blog. My candidate warned about giving this stuff away for free. You're already like a billionaire, Tom Nook. All right, just want to give him this last thing. There we go. Because he just keeps seem he seems to just keep rewarding us whenever we catch them. So. Emerald cast for an only. Yeah, I get that suggestion um, almost every single day. It's the most suggested one. It's that and uh, Dunsparce. Hey, Blathers. Alright, I guess I've donated enough stuff that they can do the museum now. It's a must pronunciation of my real name that morphed into a nickname. That is not true. <laughs> that is just, that is simply not true. It has nothing to do with my real name at all. Nickname because your real name is your devil. Yeah, but that doesn't explain why I have that as a nickname, which is what the question was. Is his real name Matthew? No. What? I have no idea what the fuck is going on anymore. <laughs> Chat's confused me. I'm going back to Animal Crossing. <laughs> nice. Iron. Is this smelting? You know, my real name is like public information. It's Madrat Stowe. It's easy to figure out which one I am because there's no way anyone else has that name. Ooh. I don't know. Do I really need more of those ones though? I think I've caught like 50 of that one. Ooh, do I have that? The white one though? I think I failed to catch one of those earlier. Common butterfly. Oh, that's not as exciting. Can get up to eight items from those rocks. Okay. I'll probably break my axe though, won't I? What? Oh, money. Oh, I like that it's automatically, uh, it just automatically goes into your wallet now. I forgot there was always like a stone every day or something that would uh, give you money. If your character says yes right after a catch, it's a new catch. Ooh, that's good to know. Thank you. Did I get an achievement? What for? Cutting wood? Uh. uh da, da, da. We need lots of ma uh, material to make it happen. We're So we're giving away nook miles based on how much wood you've chopped. Oh, okay. Okay, so I should keep chopping. <laughs> That's a weird way for it to break. Okay. Come on. 
Mann. There we go. Did you know you can put face paint on? No. I know very little about this so far. Because it's my first time playing New Horizons. Because it's new. Uh, how are you? I am good. Uh, I know most of the stuff that's been in like the really old games. Like GameCube and DS and Wii. I know those things. Mostly. Right, so I gotta give him this uh, butterfly. Hi everybody. Oh, I can't give it to him anymore. I guess I have to wait for the museum. Yes. I guess I just had to go do that. I have a crazy new Pokemon challenge. I'm sure it's one I've heard a million times. That's the sad, sad answer. That's the sad, honest answer is I've probably heard it about a million times. Just don't worry about it. Can you defeat all the master trainers in LGP slash E? I don't even know what that acronym is. Need more room, okay. Have you heard of Pokemon Conquest? Yes, I, I vaguely know what it is. I like this spot. Is LGPE is Let's Go. The Switch game you don't have. Yeah, I know Let's Go. I've played it. Brandon brought it over before. Um, can you beat all Master Trainers in Let's Go Pikachu or Eevee? Yeah. That's not even like a challenge run. That's like an intentional thing you're supposed to do in the game. A challenge run is playing the game the way you're not supposed to play it. Hey, I should have put it close so close to this rock, should I? This rock's gonna be annoying, isn't it? <laughs> I didn't think about that. Can I get rid of this rock? Is that a thing you can do? Because it's gonna be really annoying. For some reason, I just I didn't register as a problem until I started it. All right, I should probably go talk to Nook again. If you eat fruit, then hit the rock, it breaks. What? Why? How does that work? Yeah, but beating Black with only be Weasel. Uh, let's not make this all about sending me Pokemon requests. I don't want the first hanging live on Twitch. I get it all day, every single day. Let's not make my streams about that. No one came here for, for Pokemon challenge. People came here for just hanging out and having fun talking. Uh, I mean, I can't say the spot sucks. So I'll just say I did. Eat fruit and try it. I mean, I can. I just, I just don't get why that would work. If you eat fruit, you can break rocks and dig up full trees. Jesus. Mm. So the next progress is pay off the fees. So I gotta just do a bunch of achievements and stuff then. Okay. Oh, I actually didn't want to sell. I, I meant to buy. Do I have anything I want to sell, though? I should probably hold on to that. Butterfly I need to hang on to for now, too. Uh, I'm gonna wait. 
Yes, and I just want to see if he's updated his stock at all. I doubt he has, but it's worth checking. No reason not to, right? Here we go. I don't remember if I can make watering cans or not. I might already have that recipe. I do need to make a new axe, though. Mine broke. There we go. Perfect. All right. So I guess that's going to take a day to finish, like an actual day. Yeah, there's a channel for it in the Discord. And I always ask that. Ooh. I always ask that people let me know what their ideas are on Twitter and on YouTube comments. Like on Pokemon challenges, not on other videos. That's really annoying. There's always one guy who will just say the same thing over and over on every Let's Play video, thinking it'd be more likely for me to see it. When in reality, it's just more likely that I'll be annoyed by it. <laughs> I just want to preemptively get more branches, you know? I mean, that's kind of what I was doing just now. Yep. 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 Okay, that would have been useful information if I didn't already figure that out. Which is fine. Let's check out someone else's house. Oh, never mind. Let's check out someone else's house. Never mind. Can't wait till I can get to the rest of the island. That'll be fun. Did I hit this rock yet? Nope. Ooh. What's that? Clay. Probably useful in the future. He's not doing a very good job at fishing, I have to say. I'm gonna go back to my house. Oh, our house is so depressing, isn't it? Do I have any more, uh... That was a misclick. That's an annoying misclick. Get get in the corner. There. Uh, what did this? Do I have any more of these? Yeah! For breaking tools, okay. A weird thing to get rewarded for. I guess just because he wants me to buy more tools. Okay. It's all the ones right now. Rescue service. Yeah, we fucking need that. We're stranded on an island. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Huh. Yeah. Let's save an end for now, because I gotta... I, I've barely worked on other stuff today, and it's already been like two hours. I haven't lived for just over two hours. I gotta get working on some other stuff today. I got so much Pokemon Challenge stuff to do right now. I, uh, I, I gotta do a voiceover for one of them and some editing for another one. <laughs> and then I gotta work on another one. <sighs> and then I gotta work on, um, what's it called? Why am I blanking? Gotta edit some more Hitman videos. Hey, Brandon. 
Yeah, just just end in the stream because I gotta I gotta work on stuff. I gotta I gotta work on more stuff. But that was a really fun time. Uh, definitely need to visit more islands and everything. Uh, but I'm sure as the days goes on, we'll you know unlock more features and whatnot. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Again, these are just gonna be very very casual uh, streams of of the game, where it's just a whole lot of relaxing with you guys and talking to you guys more than anything. It's more about hanging out with you guys than, uh, it's more about hanging out with you guys than, than the game itself. Just a casual time. Anyway, I gotta go get working on other stuff, so thank you everybody so much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.